What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just got back from Lowe's. I picked up a few boards and I got some shelves I need to build. Uh, one of them I'm going to put above my computer uh, in the house. I was going to build an office over here, like right in this corner where this refrigerator is at. And uh, I still might do that like in the future. But uh, as of right now, uh, I thought I could just build a simple shelf above my little uh, computer office place in the house that I do my editing and stuff. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily need an office right now. I could just build like a $50 shelf and, and call it good for now. All right, guys, we're in the house here. This is a computer that where I do all my editing at. And uh, right above it, see, I, got, I just got papers like scattered everywhere. Oh, it's, a, it's a mess. And... Uh, I'm thinking this wall is blank right above it. If I just build a shelf right here, like I can put some paper baskets and stuff up there and kind of halfway organize my stuff a little bit so I know what's going on. And, uh, you know, I think it'll work great for now.
All right, guys, one thing I wanted to point out real quick is uh, I could have uh, made the shelf a little shorter right here and made my cover have a third side or fourth side right here, like the other end down there. And uh, I didn't do that because I thought that uh, it would be a little stronger if I could make this the structure anchor into the studs on this wall over here, which I was not able to do because there was actually not any studs there other than in this corner here. So however you want to do it, uh, obviously if this was in the center of the wall, if she was shorter, uh, you would have to put a, a fourth side on the box. Well guys, got the shelf done uh, finally. I used uh, some uh, joint compound sheetrock mud to fill in all the uh, little pinholes here. Uh, you can use wood filler and, and if you uh, if you want to stain the shelf, you need to use stainable wood filler, but, uh, filler. but uh, the sheetrock joint compound, I like it because it's easy to work with, it's quick and uh, I was painting it anyway so it works good for that. And uh, I used uh, three sheetrock screws, I don't know if you can see there's one, the other one, and there's one in that corner up from the bottom side like that uh, to secure it and then I put three on the top side uh, the same way. So you pull those off and then pull this cover back off and then detach it if you wanted to for whatever reason. I should probably do something different with these uh, speaker wires here, but uh, I'll figure out what to do with that later. But uh, anyway, I think it looks good. And uh, I'm going to do a little strength test here and set you guys up over here. All right, guys, it passes the strength test. As you can tell, I weigh about 200 or close to it, about 190, plus these speakers. Uh, and all it's going to be setting up here is uh, some paperwork, so I think it'll be okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see you next time.